Hello everyone, happy holidays! Today's video is going to be a relaxed one as I prepare for Christmas and talk a little bit about how we celebrate. For me, Christmas is about relaxing and giving myself permission to stop for a little while and spending time with those who I'm closest to. So Blaise and I, we always spend Christmas itself relaxing together at home. We have both done the big frantic Christmases in the past. You know the ones where it's all parties and family get-togethers and running around from place to place. And it was fun, but it was also exhausting. But at the time, it is what I thought Christmas was supposed to be like. But as I've gotten a little bit older, I've learnt more about myself and my life priorities have changed. So by the time that me and Blaze met, we'd both realised that we found busy Christmases really, really difficult. We both had a lot of anxiety surrounding, especially the parts that included a lot of socialising. Not long after, we also discovered that Blaze had autism and that I probably had both autism and ADHD. So it was no wonder that we both found Christmas very difficult. Everything about this time of year is the opposite of how we are calmest and happiest. So we set out to reinvent our Christmas traditions. We still celebrate, of course, and we still have aspects of all of the things that are traditionally Christmassy, but we do it with a lot more intention on how we spend our time and energy. We both absolutely love Christmas. We are both just big kids at heart. So we try and include as much Christmas magic into the holidays as we can. We start by decorating fairly early and we always try to do it at a similar time each year. This is so that it's part of our yearly rhythm and routine. This takes away some of the anxiety of our environment changing. We're also quite careful about our Christmas lights and decorations. None of them are flashy or move or you know all of those ones that do lots of different flashing patterns. We don't have anything like that because both of us have sensory issues and flashing lights in particular are a problem. We also don't tend to have anything that makes an unexpected noise either. For the rest of December leading up to Christmas, we tend to spend as much time relaxing as possible. We call it our going into hibernation time. And this isn't because we see nobody, but it's because we try and avoid the social pressure that this season can bring. We still see people, but we tend to choose the occasions quite carefully so that our social energy isn't drained too much. So we usually have a few lovely festive days together, it's going to things like Christmas markets or doing that sort of thing. And then we also arrange a few, not too many, get-togethers with some of the people that we're close to. But by Christmas Eve, we are usually done with socialising and we are ready to really hibernate and relax. Throughout December, I've usually planned out our food and made sure that the house is clean and tidy so that as soon as Christmas Eve hits, we are ready to do absolutely nothing but eat great food, drink a little wine and relax together. This is when all the really fun traditions start. On Christmas Eve, we try and get a family walk in so that the dog has had plenty of exercise and that we have too. Then after that, we will come home and we cook our main Christmas dinner. It's pretty unusual to have the main dinner on Christmas Eve, but we decided in our first year together that we didn't want to spend Christmas Day in the kitchen. But we also didn't want to miss out on Christmas dinner because it's one of my favourite meals of the year. So we skip lunch and have a delicious dinner mid-afternoon. We don't have turkey, which is the traditional Christmas meat in the UK and has been for 100 years or so. We tend to have something that's a little different, so either duck or goose or something like a really nice joint of beef, something we don't normally have. But other than that, our Christmas dinner is pretty normal. This year on Christmas Eve, I'm actually introducing a new tradition that Blaze doesn't actually know about yet. I'm doing us a Christmas Eve box with lots of cosy things in, like new pyjamas and cosy socks and some Christmas Eve snacks because we're gonna have relaxing baths and then get into PJs and have a movie night. Before bed, we do hang up our Christmas stockings and by the morning, they do tend to be full of little gifts for the whole family. And we open our presents, usually accompanied by a little glass of bubbly and some delicious breakfast bagels. Christmas day is a cozy day together where we put out a lovely buffet of delicious foods and we allow ourselves to eat what we want when we want throughout the day. We don't have set eating times. And then while this is happening, we'll be watching movies, playing games together, just, generally relaxing. It is a quiet Christmas, but it is a lovely way to spend the day. And it's so different to how Christmases have been in the past, when Christmas was just a really frantic and busy time. But I think this time of year really sums up what intentional living means to us. Everything we do at this time of year and every decision we make is done with thought and intention to ensure that we feel as comfortable as we can while still enjoying Christmas. Rather than doing everything that we feel we're supposed to, we make intentional decisions to do what works for us and that's a gift we give to ourselves. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked the video and seeing what works for us at Christmas time. This type of Christmas isn't for everyone, but for us it's a wonderful way to spend the holidays. I'd love to hear about your holiday traditions and how you like to spend Christmas. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos on intentional living and homemaking. And I hope you have a lovely holiday season. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.